Hello, my name is Stephen Knight. I'm a barrister practicing in London. The importance of the HDP in Turkey is really hard to understate. It's the only real opposition party with widespread support and representation in the parliament in Turkey. It's also the only major party which opposes Turkish neo-Ottoman imperialism and that provides any sort of representation to the interests of the Kurdish people. It's the only party that's capable of providing an alternative to Turkey's de descent into fascism and which can push the country in the direction of respect for human rights and for the rule of law. It provides a voice not only to underrepresented ethnic groups, but to others who are traditionally excluded in all patriarchal capitalist societies, including women and LGBT people. The rise in support that the HDP experienced a few years ago coincided with the hope that Turkey could see an end to violence that's plagued its recent history. In contrast, the crackdown on it shows the descent of Turkey into further authoritarianism. The HDP is basically the canary in the coal mine for Turkey's democracy. If it's killed off, then others in Turkey who oppose the Erdogan regime won't be far behind it. The Erdogan regime uh, only preserves the small veneer of democracy that still exists in Turkey because it has to. The elimination of the HDP will signal to the regime that it can get away with whatever attacks on democracy that it wants. Uh, and its co-option of the Turkish legal system shows that the rule of law in Turkey has itself failed. It's uh, Indeed, so has the rule of law across Europe, where the European Court of Human Rights has failed to take any concrete action on the destruction of the rule of law and democracy in Turkey. The failure to challenge Turkey's repression of the HDP, and in, indeed of the Kurdish people, uh, of women, of minorities, just really goes to show that the international community cares more about facilitating trade and using Turkey as a geopolitical ally than the rights which the international community claims to care about. The international community, Western governments, states, these are all organisations that arrange how the capitalist system works on a global level. Where the promotion of rights and freedoms benefits the capitalist system, the international community will promote them. Where the promotion of rights and freedoms doesn't benefit the capitalist system, it doesn't care. The situation with Turkey and the HDP just goes to show that states won't intervene to save democracy and the rule of law, where that could hurt profits or damage their geopolitical standing. Well, lobbying your own government is always helpful, but it's unlikely to have any real effect in my view. Lobbying alone is unlikely to change a government's mind. What's needed is wider public understanding of what's happening in Turkey and in, indeed in the Middle East in general. But not just that. Who it's happening to has to be understood. What's happening in Turkey, the, the repression of the HDP, is the rep repression of the only party in that country that really calls for true participatory democracy, that calls for women's liberation in, in a meaningful sense, that calls for the liberation of LGBT people, that calls for an end to war, to the, the constant violence that has plagued modern Turkey. Opposing the crackdown on the HDP goes hand in hand with supporting its desire for a better, more peaceful, more egalitarian world.